Thank you all for sticking with us for this special edition of WFXR News live from Martinsville Speedway. Jermaine, now everyone gets to see how much taller you are than me, how short I am. Yeah. Well, imagine me in heels, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit like that. So you've been speaking a lot with the drivers. Yes. One driver you spoke with, Denny Hamlin, who's coming off of a win at Richmond. I'll tell you one thing. He knows what it takes to win here at Martel. He's got five wins, which is the most of all active drivers. And we talked to him a little bit today. Day, and he, he shared how Martinsville is so special to him. Special for sure. I, I, I wasn't able to win the late model, the big late model race here uh, for for the years that I tried. Um, came close uh, a few times, but just uh, was a track that you know I'd, I'd actually had a few laps at before I got in into a cup car here. So it was the only track that I'd felt somewhat comfortable in. Uh, before I got into the Cup Series. And so it's just, uh, you know, this is kind of the essence of the short tracks in which we grew up, you know, the, the asphalt late model guys. This is what we grew up doing is this type of racing. Indeed, I mean, you, you talk about a guy that gets it. I mean, it takes some time for some guys to get it. Joe Gibbs Racing gets it, but I tell you what, Kathleen, as you are gonna talk about a little bit and then we'll talk back. There's one guy that definitely he yeah, gets. <laughs> I think from what I hear, they call Richard Petty the king. That's right. He's the king of knowledge. <laughs> He's got the most overall wins. He's got 200 wins in the Cup Series, but he also has 15 wins at Marginal. That's three times the amount. I think Denny that makes Hamlet. him a king. Now, 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 here's the thing, Kathleen. Check this out. You know, he got his first win at Marginal in 1960, and then between 1967, 1975, and when 1975 hit, I was one year old. You weren't even a twinkle in your parents' eye yet, but. He won 11 races at Martinsville. Now, Petty's last win at Martinsville came in 1979. And earlier this week, we caught up with the king. Oh, cool. As he talks about Kathleen, this is so neat. Talks about how special Martinsville is to him. Our fate was just better for us at Martinsville. Bill really said, you know, how to set the car up. And I was finally kind of conservative on the brakes to begin with. It was a real breaking racetrack. So it took a while to to get it all figured out, but uh, it was just a home track and, you know, we just always look forward to going to Martinsville. Petty grew up in Level Cross, North Carolina, which is about an hour away from the Martinsville Speedway, giving him the hometown advantage. And the King feels to have success at Martinsville, there's one big factor to help getting the win at the paperclip. I think patience is as much as anything. Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of a deal, they just run 400 laps now, but. Uh, it's not a sprint race, it's a long race. And conserve yourself as long as you can. You know, if you're there at the end, then you start racing. And uh, it, it's, it's so much different now, too. The cars are so much better, uh, the brakes are better. Uh, I don't say the drivers are any better, but <laughs> the combinations are probably a lot better than they used to be. With the Martinsville Speedway celebrating 75 years of existence, Petty's not surprised Martinsville is still part of the NASCAR present. He credits what track founder H. Clay Earls did in the early years of the track to keep it in play today. Yeah, see, the deal is that, you know, in the 60s and stuff, they started with the super speedways, and that was the trend. A lot of the uh, tracks like Martinsville sort of went out of business, and Clay Earls said, okay, you know, these guys are going out of business because they're not, not doing it right. So he started doing his advertisement. He started cleaning up his racetrack. Uh, first one to have uh, a bunch of people there working full time to advertise the racetrack. And so I think a lot of the big tracks took his advice and watched what he'd done, how he cleaned up the grandstands, the bathrooms, <clears throat> made the parking so much better. So uh, he was ahead of his time. Petty's fond and interesting memories of the paper clip are not necessarily connected to the action on the track. <laughs> well, you know, I told it to a while ago, we were, one of the dirt tracks we ran up there when Diddy was running, uh, there was two drunks on the back stretch and they was fighting and they rolled out on the racetrack and had to cost the flag to get them off. And, you know, there's different, different things like that that uh, don't mean nothing, but you still remember them. Kathleen, that is like back in the day stuff. Yeah. You got trunks running on the track. You don't see that very often. Now, Richard Petty looks good for 84, doesn't he? Yes, he does. 84 years old. Marginal is 75. 
He's never missed a race except one back in 2020. Of course, we had the COVID-19 pandemic. Mm -hmm. They didn't let any owners on the track to check out the races. So he's only missed one, and I guarantee you he'll be here on Saturday. It's very impressive. A very good story, Jermaine. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, stick with us, everyone. We want to take a live look at Martinsville once again from our DeMond Reynolds. Chief Meteorologist John Carroll is going to have your full forecast right after the break.